going to show you how to install the UltiTuck and uh, replace the traditional fold over clip. The disadvantage of this clip is that it's belt dependent and there's no way for it to allow for it to be a tucked in uh, holster. So I'll show you once I install the UltiTuck how that works. But basically to replace these, you just want to take the screws off the clip that's already there. The UltiTuck comes with a six piece mounting hardware kit. It should work for most applications. If you find it doesn't work for your application, then uh, you may need to purchase our 30 piece screw kit. So here we have the six piece screw kit that comes with the UltiTuck. And uh, one thing that you have to uh, put a lot of attention to is the height of the blocking where it's mounted. Uh, depending on the height of this blocking, you may be able to put your post with the rubber washer on the bottom side, which is what I recommend, or you may have to run it on the top side. So in this case, uh, there's enough blocking there that the post and rubber washer are not going to interfere with my firearm. So I like to take the post and the washers and uh, put them together first, like that. And then just take one of them, put it on the back side. Take, take our screw. and then get our screw started. Don't screw it all the way down, just enough so it's not gonna fall out. And then take our other post and our other screw, put it on the other side, and uh, get it started as well. And you might wanna snug this up just slightly, not a lot, just so it's not loose. And now, with the way the UltiTuck's made, you're able to go a little bit left to right, or you can actually adjust cant on this if you want to be able to adjust cant with the way the design is. So we could go, we could cant it that way if we want. We could come back. I'm going to set it right in the middle because this particular holster already has enough cant on the way that it's designed. And so we're just going to tighten that down. And uh, going back to the blocking and making sure it's not going to interfere with your firearm, you can see on the back of this, the posts and the washers, when I turn it sideways, they're not going to interfere with my firearm inserting in here. If that's not blocked up high enough, then this rubber washer uh, on the back side could interfere with uh, inserting your firearm. So on this holster, um, I'm just going to show how you would do it with the rubber washers on the outside. I've already put my post on it. The rubber washers are on top. I'm just going to lay the clip on top of the rubber washer. And then the same process of tighten that down. And uh, that's going to allow it to set extremely flush on the backside. You're only going to have the thickness of the post on the backside. And the rubber washer is going to be spacing on the front side of the holster in between the ulti tuck. Tighten those down. And you can see how that sets with the rubber washers on the outside. So you have two options. either. Rubber washers on the inside or outside, depending on your application. And then you can see the UltiTuck, what it allows is, first of all, our patented design allows for beltless carry with the UltiClip patented design. And then the UltiTuck opens up and allows you to tuck your shirt in in between the slot where my finger's pointing. And that allows you to carry this now, clamp to your uh, jeans material, tuck your shirt in, and have a tuckable holster. So that's the advantage of the UltiTuck and how to install it.